Come on, Keldon. Step back. I'm taking that shot. Let's go. Yo, Keldon Johnson is looking a little different now. We figured out this man's jumper. So what's good, Jutsu? We are back here for episode number six of the San Antonio Spurs series. We're dropping this, guys, and I'm not sure if you guys missed the last one. YouTube holds a lot on notifications, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. A link to episode number five will be down in the description below. But we're here for episode number six, and the team has been playing really, really good so far. If you guys want to see episode number seven, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video. Let's get 130 likes, and also comment down below which matchups you guys want to see. But let's get straight into it. We are sitting on a record of six and two. Yes, we caught that first L in the last episode, which was Evans' NBA debut, where he had 16 and four. Then we cut another L to Atlanta. But this time, Mobley dropped 25, 9, and 4. And then we've been on a six-game winning streak. We've been cooking so far. And just looking at these stats, Evan Mobley has taken over as being that guy for us. He's averaging 21, 7, and 3 assists on 61% shooting and 39 from the three. He's looking like a demigod out here. Like, this dude is going crazy right now, which is something that, especially after his debut, I did not expect at all, but Keldon Johnson is playing really, really well as well. 18 points, five boards. His efficiency does need to go up, but overall he's playing decent. And you know, Lonnie Walker, 43% from the three off the bench, 53% from the field, 15 points off the bench. Jared Allen, a nice little double double. DeJounte Murray definitely did not become the guy that we really wanted him to, but as long as we're winning games, I don't care. Like, this team overall is playing very, very well. Derek White is becoming a secret weapon off the bench. Look at his shooting splits. 56% from the three-point line. So guys, this team is starting off a whole lot better than what I originally anticipated. And so far, they are going off. We actually have second best record in the Western Conference. We have a three-way tie between us, the Pelicans, and the Mavs. So this team is actually starting off really, really, really hot. And let's just see if we can keep it up. For right now, you guys want me to play Brandon Boston. And I'm down because he's somebody who has so much upside. I want to see him get a few minutes. And yo, somebody said, take one minute away. Take one minute away from all of the starters. And a let dude hoop. And hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I can't take it away from Mike Mobley. Six minutes. And, and honestly, he could probably play more. George Hill has been kind of, yo, he's low-key been, like, thing is, everybody's playing so well. Let's just see, and let's just keep simming, and I really just want to see how good this team can actually be. I think that this team got it. And matter of fact, let's play this game versus Miami. This is a revenge game because DeMar DeRozan left us high and dry, and he could have been a part of this team, but now we gonna beat this team. I think that we are so much better then the Miami Heat. Let's just rock with the all black unis, bro, because we are going to Miami's funeral, bro. Let's hop straight into it, guys. And guys, let me know down in the comment section below how much you guys have been enjoying this series. I have been more motivated these past two days more than ever. I got a lot more videos dropping on this channel, on the second channel. We're going crazy. And make sure to go ahead and turn on all your post notification. There goes the traitor right there. I have no hard feelings towards DeMar DeRozan. I actually completely understand it. But we're going to definitely drop off this team. This team has been playing so well. So well. We are on a six-game winning streak. And let's just see if we can keep this thing alive. And I think that we are a better defensive team. So let's get straight into it. They do got the ball first. We can put a body on Tyler Hero. I'm not even worried about that. And we can let, De like, bro, De DeMar can have that shot. He can have that shot. Look at that. Now that's a problem. This floppy play be working, bro. It works all the time. Somebody get open. I see you, Devin. Knock it down. That's green. Let's go. It's such an easy play, and it's so simple to run. We got to run it up every single time. And you guys already know, I'm guarding the paint. We're not worried about DeMar at three-point line, but that midi is cash, though. That midi is cash, though. All right, come on. Let's kind of abuse him, bro. Like, I feel like I feel like if we run plays with DeMar in the pick and roll, he can't do anything about that. At least that's just what I think. 
I don't think that DeMar can really guard this. So let's run a pick and roll. Cut to the basket. Easy money. He honestly has no way of covering Mo because Mobley is seven foot tall and super athletic as well. But bam, I don't know if I like that. Oh, good block. Well, we got to get the rebound. We got to get the rebound every single time. Let's chill out with Devin though. Let's just swing. Let, let's actually you know what. Come send me a screen. Come send me a screen. Actually, I'm going right to the... I kind of wanted him to dunk right there, but we got the 7-4 lead. Let's just not blow it. Spurs are definitely not like any team that I normally do. Normally, we do all these really flashy, fun teams. The Spurs are kind of like... They are a lot more calm, but I think this is the reason why we're going to be better off the bat. Normally, with my other teams, for the first few seasons, we're not that good. But the way that San Antonio does things... They would never be just a god-awful team just because they want to rebuild. That's why I'm personally starting to really like this team because it's like, yo, we got a very competent team right now that might be able to make the playoffs. Granted, not a super long run, but this team can definitely at least make the playoffs. And, you know, come on. That's such a weak call. This team can definitely make the playoffs, and... We might be a dark horse team because I feel like our length and our defensive loan, we can really challenge a lot of teams. Of course, we're not the highest as far as defensive rating goes. We have so many good defenders on this team and good scores as well that if we took on a good team, we at least have a shot every single game. Somebody get open. Come send me a screen. Down screen. Tyler Hero cannot guard him at all. I kind of wish that we, had, that we had a center who could space the floor, but Jared Allen... <laughs> took a band right off the dribble which i think is so unrealistic but that's that 2k logic right now it's a five point game just play good defense please miss that jimmy let's go and we have this size advantage at, at most positions oh go ten. i'll take it i'll take it i don't want to run something for brandon boston yo let's get somebody open here Somebody get open. I see Lonnie Walker. This play works so much. This play is actually perfect, man. And like, they have very competent shooters between Derek White and Lonnie Walker and Devin Vassell as well. We have really good shooters on this team to where if we get them open, they can all knock down that shot. Please, Brandon, do not get exposed. Please, man. Look, man, it's Jimmy. He an all-star, dog. We gonna get you there, but you gotta earn the minutes. If you come out here playing like a scrub, we got to get you out the game. <laughs> so, for right now, you got it. But, you know, tighten up a little bit. All right, let's see what we can get going here, man. And Derek White is an A defender. I had no idea. But, okay, let Mobley eat. Precious cannot guard him. See, look. Precious can, 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 cannot guard this man. Come on, Keldon. Oh, step back. I'm, I'm taking that shot. Let's go. That's money. Yo, Keldon Johnson is looking a little different now. We figured out this man's jumper. Miami's really just thriving off of our turnovers. That's legitimately all that they really got. I see you. Ooh, I don't like that shot. All right, you know what? Iso with Mobley. This might be a little unrealistic, but I'm taking pressures right off the dribble. <laughs> Yo, he, he really can't guard him because, yeah, this dude can dribble the ball as well and score. And shoot. I know that personally, I'm not taking any three-pointer with him, but he can shoot as well. Mobley, come on, man. I'm trying I'm trying to feed you. I'm trying to feed you. I'm trying to feed you. We throwing lobs. <laughs> we throwing lobs. Just get to the rack, and we're going to get you a wide-open shot every single time. That's a, that's a matchup in our favor. Let's go. I was about to say, man, let, let's pass it off to Mobley. He's running the floor with a fast break. Yo, man. Hey, yo. Damar, man. I think you should have stayed on this team. Dog. Dog. Stop it. Stop it. You're like 6'5", bro. He got 14 on nearly 70% shooting. He honestly should have a double-double right now. Mobley has 18. Just keep cooking. Lock it all up. Dude, why are our big men... That man, DeMar, is taking more threes than normal. And I also do not know why our big men are not getting rebounds. Like, Allen has four. Mobley has five. Yo, Keldon has three. 
<laughs> like, what's going on there? Please miss that Springer. That's a bad shot. You guys know how much I like this sloppy play, man. You guys know it works. You guys know it works. Oh my gosh, bad shot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yo, these guys are playing terrible defense as well. Tyler, yo, Tyler Hero, man. He just a victim. Lock it up. We got Precious in, so mismatch right there. Go through the screen. That should have been blocked. Let's calm down. We throwing, we are throwing oops in this game, y'all. We are throwing oops because we have this size advantage on almost every single matchup, bro. Like, I would take Jared Allen over Precious any day of the week. We got a 17-point lead right now. We're actually playing really, really good. And like I said, man, I am so, please break that, Tyler. Toilet bowl, that's tough. That's mad stuff. That was a bad pass, but I'm, I'm taking that. Right to the rack, too, because Tyler can't guard a parked car. <laughs> Let's run it up, man. But, yeah, like, I am so happy that Miami was on the schedule right now. First off, DeMar went there. And overall, we are just a better team than them in, in general. Okay, we got the jump ball. We got a 19-point lead, like maybe a 8th seed, 7th seed max. I can see us really staying in the top 5. Because right now, we are off to a really hot start. But you guys know how that goes. There are so many teams in real life that start off really hot. And then they just cool off immediately. If we can keep this up, we're going to be just fine. But it's going to be really hard to. These guys do not play defense. <laughs> they don't play defense. Of course, they got Jimmy Butler, a really, really good defender. But outside of Jimmy Butler and Bam, their defense is really bad. And it is, it's getting exposed to, like, we are taking full advantage of all of our matchups. And the worst part is these guys are actually shooting a really good field goal percentage as well. They just can't lock up anything. Yo, put in Brandon Boston. Honestly, bruh, not... Oh, my gosh. Cash. That's Cash, too. And, oh, yeah, for the third shot, this is Cash to his green. <laughs> he got 11-5 and five off the bench. How did Brandon Boston do? This is kind of his debut. He got one point. Let's see if we can get Buddy more than one point in his debut. It's going to be hard, though. But we, we got to find a way to, like, kind of stat pad. All right, you know what? Let's let him ISO. We got a pretty safe lead. <laughs> like, this is a pretty safe lead. Let's see what BJ Boston got on the ISO, on the drive. He got the three-point play. <laughs> His first field goal in the NBA comes off the ISO. Good for him, yo. Yo, Spo looks mad, though. <laughs> like, Spo looks really, really mad. But, yo, man, Brandon Boston can really develop into being a really good player for us. And I know we already got Derek White. We got we got Lonnie Walker. We got Vassell and Keldon starting. And I think that BJ Boston, he has the potential to be a star. And the best part about drafting him is that he was really, really low risk and of course at the end of the game we walk out of here oh my gosh <laughs> guys we are not fixing the sliders he really he really knocked that off at the buzzer that is really disrespectful 135 to 112 and we knocked off the Miami Heat in the revenge game, man. I really enjoyed playing this game. Brandon Boston looked really good out there for his whole, like, three minutes that, like, he actually played. He got six points in, like, one minute. This man is looking like T-Mac out there. But anyways, guys, we played really, really well. Bam went off for them. He had 27-10 and three steals on a really good shooting. DeMar DeRozan, yeah, guys, we can make all the jokes we want to, but he had a really efficient game, and Jimmy Butler was kind of the same thing. 18-3, 2-2-2. 6 of 11 shooting, 1 of 2 from the 3-point line. And yeah, these guys did not shoot bad from the field at all, except Tyler. He actually did, but their defense really held them back because our entire team was eating. Mobley at 28-7. I wish he had more rebounds. This is like his ninth game in the NBA. Keldon Johnson at 22-4. Devin had 19-4-3 on a really good and a really efficient day as well. 6 of 8 shooting. 3 of 4 from the 3-point line. Lonnie had 14, 2 and 2. DeJounte had 12, 4 and 9. Derek White had 11 and 5. Rudy Gay had 7 and 2. And of course, Brandon Boston had 7 and 1 in 6 minutes played. We got to probably up this guy's minutes. And oh yeah, Jared Allen had 15 boards. And majority of it 
Yeah, 12 of them came in the second half. Regardless, guys, we are currently the best team in the Western Conference. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys think that we can keep it up. I think it's possible. However, it's going to be really, really hard. The next video, we're going to be towards the middle of the season. And I can see us still being top five. But as far as this number one spot, it's going to be hard to keep. But other than that, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go and like it up. And of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out, guys. Peace.